so I was called to program Devin for this Mazda 6 after um, replacing the ECU. Now you have to change the VIN number and you can see the VIN number of this vehicle ends with 42. So I'll scan it with force scan. So you can replace, you call it VIN block. So you can do that with this force scan so that in case you, after replacing the control unit, you can now do, uh, you when you take it out, uh, they scan it, they will see the original VIN number in it. So this control board is for CX-5. But they use the same engine, which is Mazda 6 and CS5 use the same engine. So now I'm coming to change the VIN block. You can see this VIN start with, it ends with 42. I have to edit it. Click on edit to edit the VIN block. And you have to get internet whilst you are doing it. So I'll wait for first count to give me the access to do the editing. Then click on it. Then now I will change the moving to, to Mazda CX, sorry, to Mazda 6, so that when I use any defense scan to, I'll be able to identify it as Mazda 6, not CX-5. And these vehicles, they do have different control units uh, of the transmission, so the transmission and the gearbox are not the same. So they have a different control unit for their transmission. So I'll write the VIN number in it. Then I'll write it so that it can get access to this new VIN. And when it comes to as build, when you have this VIN and you use for scan, so writing it so that it saves it on the ECU. So it tells you the old one and the new one. You can see the new one is 73, the old one is 42. So I'll do or I'll follow the instructions, cycle the ignition. Then I'll wait for the process to finish. After that, then I'll rescan or recycle the ignition and rescan the vehicle and see if I'll get the new VIN that I've done. So if you can see on top of the first scan, you can see that you are getting 42. So now I'm done with the VIN block changing. So now my last VIN number is 73. So now I'll go back and move away from for scan to so close the connection then cycle the ignition then reconnect it and see the actual vendor how it will be reading and i'm using the v200 which is the new km100 vci to connect it so i have to so at this point it couldn't scan the vein so i have to try it again i have not turned on the ignition so now you can see that the new vein that is scanned was 73 so that tells me that my VIN programming is done. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So when you use any scan tool to see it.